Good old Carly. Right, so Mark. Will you hold the damn board steady? Jesus Christ, Larry. I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it just walks away like, screw this shit. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Did I? I don't remember that one. <laughs> Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Shut up, Larry. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <laughs> give axe to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Oh! Is that what you told him? There, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Jesus Christ, that guy's got a massive chip on his shoulder. Thought about saying something there, but decided not to. Can I actually talk to Larry? God. <sighs> She's like. Ugh. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We got to start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. <laughs> Screw you then. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Shut up, Larry. You're such a dick. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to give the, another food ration to Duck. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? I have some crackers and cheese. Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry. Duck and his family appreciate that. There's one piece of food left. Oh. For yourself or someone else? Someone else. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Should we give it to Mark? I don't know. Defin definitely not giving it to Larry. Lily? No. Catcher? No. I think I'll give it to Mark in the end. He, sa he seems like a decent guy. Here, have have some jerky. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Well, that's all our food. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. Happen that. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Mm. You might earn yourself a place on the RV after all. Yay! Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choice. Of course not. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Oh, for God's sake, You're the one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. God, we only had four pieces. What do you expect? Damn it, Larry. 
Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn oh, it. You, oh, damn sick it. Of this shit. Oh, Jesus. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But. He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. <sighs> what about the other kid? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn it! Q, Q, Q. Oh! Oh! Damn it! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Go away! Get him! Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh. You okay? Oh, he must have been bit. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. He's gonna have a heart attack in a minute, I swear. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? What? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Oh shit. Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Back off! What the hell's this? Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us. Not out. More, I said more back people. Off. Carly, are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. This, but uh, I think you got the upper hand here. This is shady. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, food. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? I'll do it. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Hope this guy's legit. <laughs> it's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. <laughs> Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. 
That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Georgia. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? It's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there Saint fighting John. each other these days. It's just stupid. I agree. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including, Nine the kids. including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you uh. all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? The hell is this? Damn. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Bandits? Those look like the people who oh, raided Dad, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's up only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot more Yeah, you know what? He ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. And I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh jeez. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 Jesus. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Well, that guy's a tiny bit brutal. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Even the bandits are arguing with each other. Damn. What else can go? Right, you guys got gas, we need food. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Hope no one's dying back in the morning. See how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. <laughs> We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Carly's not the brightest, is she? Oh, it's Mama Shay John! <laughs> Ever have any accidents? We can't have kids around the fence. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This hey, here's Lee. <laughs> He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. <laughs> they got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. I hope these guys are legit. There's something nagging them and there might be something wrong here. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. 
That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! But she's infected. Maybe the cow's infected all. all. <laughs> for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Oh, very nice. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Hope them to make it. Fine. I don't want anyone Mom, dying on Lee, us. Uh, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. <laughs> It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Man, there's so, there's something fence. fishy about this. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? This... Let's, let's, let's make sure we, this place Before is safe. we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. Yet. Maybe. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Hmm. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay then, okay then. Well, I think I'm gonna get a hint here, guys. We've been recording for quite a while. So that's pretty much it. Hope you have enjoyed this episode, guys. If you have, then please leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Um, make sure to check out my other videos. Check out my Facebook page. The link will be in the description below. And if you have any suggestions of games I'd like me to play on the channel, then please leave a comment or send me a message. The story is really starting to get interesting in this game, so I'm really looking forward to playing it next time. So yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Have a nice day. Bye.